Hi guys, my name is Bailey Sarian. I wanted to create this really easy watercolor look, very pretty for going out or just because, using the Tease Cosmetics Starry Eye Trio, two shadows and a liner. Let's get started. My eyes are already primed and I'm just going to take a flat eyeshadow brush and then take the color Pearly Mist. It comes in this cute little gold ball. It's a gorgeous color. It's got like a color swift to it. Yeah. yeah. These are super smooth, velvety, and they also have anti-aging benefits to it. Can't be mad at that. So taking my flat shadow brush, I'm just going to pick up some product and pat it on my lid coming up towards my crease. The colors are super creamy, easy to work with and they complement so many complexions and eye colors. So I'm pressing up towards my lid, coming a little bit above my crease, and a little bit more than halfway over my lid. So I'm leaving this end of my eye open. Don't worry about being perfect, just get the color on there. I like to place first and then blend the color second, so I don't really care too much about being super perfect. With the same brush, I'm just gonna wipe it down, get that color off, and then dip it into the next shade, which is Splendor Sunset. Ooh, girl. Uh huh. Just gonna pick up the color. I'm gonna put this right on the edge of my eye, meeting up with that last shade. And same thing, just place the color. Don't really worry about it being perfect, because we'll blend it and make it look once I've got the color on, I'm now going to take a fluffier blending brush. I'm gonna blend where the two colors meet, just ever so lightly. I'm going back and forth in like a windshield wiper motion. And then right into the crease. Same thing, going back and forth. I like to do little circles, soften it out, just until it looks nice and smooth. With my blending brush, I'm just gonna pick up a little bit of the color Splendor Sunset and I'm gonna bring it right into my crease a little bit. I like to turn the brush downwards and then come back and forth along my brow bone just to really soften the edge and blend it so it looks nice and smooth. It doesn't have that harsh line from where I put the crease color. Using a purple eyeshadow because I wanna add a little bit of a pop of color in here. I'm gonna take my crease brush metallic purple shade and add it right almost the size of my nose in my crease under my brow. That was real confusing. Right up in her. Then coming about halfway over the eye. It's just all around gorgeous. If you have a lot of texture on your eye, you could also use a matte purple shade. You don't have to use something with shimmer in it. Do like shimmer on your lid and then matte in your crease if you feel like you need to tone it down a bit. I'm adding a little bit of a deeper tone plum shade. This one's matte and I'm just gonna put this, layer it right over the last shade just to deepen it a smidge. Now I'm going to go back to my flat all over shadow brush and the shade Pearly Mist, which was that lid color. I'm going to put this on my lower lash line. So tear duct, again, coming about halfway over the bottom lash line. And then I just wipe down my brush, taking Splendor Sunset and doing the outer lower lash line, connecting with that lash shade. I'm gonna take my blending brush that I used for my crease and then just Blend the two shades together. And then going back to that purple shade, I'm gonna add it on the outer lower lash line. It's about halfway over. Now I'm taking the liquid eyeliner. It has a really fine precision, <laughs> did I go cross-eyed for a minute? <laughs> fine precision tip to it. I'm going to do little lines on my lower lash line to mimic hairs and make my lower lash line look fuller. So I just do like a little line. And this precision tip, it's so fine that you could really get in there and add these bad boys. So I know this probably doesn't make sense, but when I add mascara, it's gonna make my lower lash line look 
fuller and like chunkier, but in a good way. Now I'm going to add mascara on my top bottom lashes, a pair of lashes, and a quick lip, and I'll be right back. And there you go, a really easy look you can create using the Tease Starry Eyes Trio. Super easy, I believe in you, I know you can do it. I hope you like this tutorial, you have a really good day today, make good choices, and I'll see you guys later. Bye.